the bottom. Ain't no problems, we gon' make a way. Got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay. We from with that being said, let's get on to our next game. Uh, we have, this is a good one. We have Tennessee taking on Purdue in the Trans Perfect Music City Bowl. This is basically a home game playing in Nashville for the Volunteers. Uh, the Volunteers, 75 on the years, 5 or 7 against spread, while the Purdue Boilermakers are 8 and 4. The big dog upset, upset, uh, you know, these are the giant killers. 8 and 4 on the years, 7 and 5 against the spread. Um, get this line open up in favor of Purdue minus three, and since it has flipped to minus five and a half in favor of Tennessee, the total opened up at 58 and a half. Right now, that line's at 64. There are some 64 and a, and a half on the board as well. Uh, injury reports right now Mays, offensive lineman, he is questionable uh, for Tennessee. Hendon Hooker, he is questionable also with his hand. Now, for Purdue. Uh, for Purdue, they do have quite a few guys who have opted out. Uh, wide receiver Bell, he has opted out of this game. Defensive defensive end, uh, Carl, Carl Georgie Kalalafis, he is out as well uh, for this game. Last time we seen Tennessee, they beat Vanderbilt 45 to 21. And the last time we seen Purdue, they beat Indiana 44 to 7. Get to these actual factuals real quick. Uh, Tennessee two and four against spread in the last six games. They're over to five out of the last five games. They're five and zero straight up in the last five games against Big Ten conference opponent. Two and eight straight up in the last ten games in the month of December, and zero and five against spread in the last five games when played on a Thursday. And the over set five out of the last five games whenever Tennessee is a favorite. Extra factuals for Purdue. They're four and one against spread in the last five games. They're under set eight out of the last twelve. They're four and one straight up in the last five games. Uh, five, five and two against the spread in the last seven games this season. The overs also hit four out of the last five whenever Purdue's playing against an SEC conference opponent. They're 11 and four against the spread in the last 15 games when playing as an underdog. So, Purdue, Tennessee, Marley, what's your play? Um, I got the home team here, coach. Um, I'm all over Tennessee, especially, especially since Bell, the receiver, is not playing in this game. Uh, Bell is Mr. All World for the giant killers, as you call them. Um, uh, wish they did be some pretty good teams this year, they did earn that reputation. However, Tennessee are no giants, so um, as long as Hendon Hooker plays, um, I expect this, this offense to score in bunches. They average uh 38 points a game. Um, the defense isn't bad considering what they are and what conference they play in, it's 27 points a game, but I think they had a pretty good season overall considering what they are i think this was a good uh good step for a building season for tennessee i think they're going to cap it off with a bowl win pretty much at the crib in tennessee um and I, that line flipped i'm telling you that line flipped because bell is not playing and like i say bell is mr all world for the giant killers Long as Hendon Hooker hands good, that offense is going to score. I expect them to score 30. So um, I'm not sure what Purdue's offense, you know, that's their guy. So I don't know what all I'm going to get there. And this is practically a home team for the Volunteers. They're going to travel well. Um, and if anybody know about college football, that's one of the rocky. They can have one of the ruckus of stadiums in college football. So I expect it to be a virtual so home game for Tennessee. I like Hendon Hooker in the, in the offense to uh, outdo the Boilermakers here. All right, all right. Uh, Flat Top, what's your play for this one? Yeah, same here. Um, just hearing who Purdue has out. They got Bell and um, – <clears throat> Obviously, their DN, who's also supposed to be like top half of the first um, first round, you know, getting ready for that. Um, they're only giving up 20 points a game, but a lot of that has to do with their ability to harass the quarterbacks and um, some of the stuff that he allows them to do um, from the front seven. So I think Tennessee should have this. Um, I'm going to take Tennessee first half minus the three. Um, I think they're going to start um, start off winning and then never have to look back. It's a very high-powered offense. Um, Purdue is, I mean, if you look at their offense, it's all pass. 
Um, so once they, I think they're going to try and get into a shootout with Tennessee because that's the only way they're going to um, be able to win. And I don't think that without Bell um, that they're going to have the personnel to be able to do so. So um, first half, Tennessee minus probably like three. I think Tennessee, they're playing in a rocking stadium. It's essentially a home game for them. Um, assuming Hooker, like Marley said, is playing, they shouldn't have very much trouble with Purdue. So Tennessee, first half, points. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep this long. Yeah, I pretty much said everything. I like my boy Hypel and what he's doing as far as his up to offense, and now he's having athletes. I like Tennessee minus the five and a half official play. This is one of my top plays as well, my locks of the entire bowl season. So Tennessee at home, minus five and a half. Hey, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, I am the coach. This is Marley Betts and Flat Top. We are breaking down the bowl week season three. We gon' make a way, got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay. We from the-